Tired of throwing away your squirmy worms? Well, this pattern is for you. We'll start with some flat black thread, attach it to our hook shank, and snip the excess furry. Continue wrapping to the bend of the hook and grab some squirmy worm material. Here I've selected to use this light blue color glows in the dark. Secure the material in place by taking some loose thread wraps at first and beginning to wrap tighter and tighter to secure it to the hook shank. This will help prevent your thread from cutting through the material, ruining your fly. Snip your squirmy worm material to length and select some medium green wire. Insert this into your bead and secure it tightly, wrapping back towards our tail. We'll then select a dubbing blend. Here I've used chartreuse, green, and copper ice dubbing. Create a dubbing noodle and begin wrapping this up your fly, creating transition towards the bead. You can tighten your dubbing and add more material as needed. We'll stop just short of the bead, grab our wire, and begin to counter wrap in open spirals till we reach our thread. This will help further secure the dubbing in place. Secure by taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind the wire and helicoptering the excess furry. For the head of the fly, I've selected some black hair's ear and peacock ice dubbing. Blend these two materials, create a dubbing noodle, and wrap this around the head of your fly. Once complete, we'll brush it out to give it a nice buggy look. This fly is excellent at catching fish, but still functions as a great caddis pattern once the tail is lost. Highly suggest stocking up on a few of these, as they can be a great chimeric fly. You can find them on my website listed below, and if you'd like to win this one, comment hashtag flies in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one.